Hi guys, welcome back to another video. If you aren't subscribed, do please consider, consider hitting that subscribe button at the bottom. Okay, so I've made a few changes to the sim, um, sort of off the back of Dot17. I've had some really good comments from some of the subscribers, so thank you for that, about, you know, my sim not being level, um, putting, I was having to go back right, right towards the unit and things like that. So I want to show you what I've done. I've laid some, some floor in. Um, Really cheap, really basic, but it seems to be doing the job. So let me just show you right. Okay, so working from the screen, so we've got the golf base screen there. I've got some AstroTurf on the floor there. And as you've seen in my other videos, I've got the T-Turf mat with a divot action strip or the insert in there, which is nice. Now, what I did have is see where this artificial grass is down here. Now these are just off cuts that I've got. I never had anything. It was just a drop to the concrete floor. Whereas now what I've done is I've laid down some uh, sort of foam tiles. They're like a jigsaw puzzle and they just click in together. Okay, so from Amazon. And then like I said, with the offcuts of AstroTurf I've got, I've just laid it on top. So now we're sort of pretty much up to the same height as the mat now. Um, the Mevo is sat over there on my lovely little 3D stand. And now that's pretty much level with the top of the surface now as well. Okay, so under here, as I said, I've got the, the foam mat. And then what I've done, so my putting strip is there. Okay, but I've ran the foam all the way down there now. So if I show you that, this now, there's the foam, is completely level. So you come down here, there's the foam look all the way down. Okay, so now that putting strip is perfect and level. So hopefully we're going to see some better results. So again, that putting strip is just off Amazon. You walk down here. And I'll show you what it looks like from behind. Okay, so now there you can see all perfectly level putting strip. Just set back a little bit further. And if I get down behind the Mevo, which is here, then you can see that it's completely level. So do some puttings, we'll do some camera angles from here and we'll see how we get on. Okay, so we're gonna start with, we're in E6, just to mention. So E6, I've got my simulation angle at 12 degrees, okay? And we have dot 17 firmware. We've got eight foot from Mevo to the ball. And then we've got about nine-ish, nine and a half foot to the screen, so ball for life, okay? In E6, running off the iPad. Now we've come into, the short game practice. Let's start with some 50 yard chips, okay? Just to see how we're getting on. So, 50 yards to the flag, just got a sand wedge. Pick that up nicely. Again, what I'm doing here, I'm hitting from my normal hitting strip. So, I haven't moved back at all yet. <clears throat> if I need to or not, but I mean, that's picked it up perfectly. I'll just do one more. Again, dot on the ball, dot facing forward, as flight scope recommend. And again, just pick that up, spot on. I mean, that's rolled off the green there. But okay, so it's picking up 50 yard shots, which is good. But to be fair, always dead. Um, and that's the other thing, I haven't had much issues with shots not getting picked up and stuff, so this is purely just sort of my setup. Okay, let's go. It's a 31 foot chip, we're on the fringe. So what's that, about 10 yards, something like that. Um, we'll stick with the sandwich. Again, I'm going to stick at eight foot. See if it picks these up. So just dink it onto the screen, I would have thought. Yeah, just picked it up. Again, it's ran on. I've probably picked the worst screen. To change the flag position in that runoff area. But that carried 19 feet. But that was that was spot on. So it's doing 
Let's try and just land him on and run him down. Right, that barely touched the screen. Okay, didn't pick that up. Let's try another one. Yeah, so that's picked up. So that first one that's barely touched the screen. Okay, so what we'll do is we will come back. I don't know, foot, so we're probably at about seven now. Let's try that on these tiny little chips. So we're back a foot towards the unit. Yeah, it picked up perfect there. That is absolutely how I hit that. Try a little bit further, so probably about six foot from the device. Yeah, read that one. Probably a little bit higher than I hit it. Let's go right in front of the unit now. Just a bit of testing. Chip it on. I think it'll read that. Yeah, read that perfect. Bit of a scuffer. So, I mean, you can... Yeah, read that one nicely. So, you know, I think it's okay, you know, getting the odd mystery, the tiny little chips is going to struggle from the 50 foot ones, sorry, from the 50 yard ones, it doesn't matter. Okay, so that's interesting. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts on that. Can you even get these to register? So let's just get ourselves on the pine surface. So what's this, a 12 foot putt? Let's try this out now. 12 foot. Oh, what a putt, <laughs> straight in. So now my putting, my putting mat is dead level. It's so much better. I'll do a down the line camera angle in a minute. That'll probably come up short. No, oh, nearly gone in again. So let me just give you a down the line. So you've got a nice down the line angle. Again, ball, no dot. We're there from the screen. You can see that nicely. I'll measure this in a sec how far. I've got a line on the mat, so I can put it in the same position every time. So 12 and a half foot. See that roll, beautiful down there. Oh, just coming up. So although it falls off the mat at the end, it it reads it perfectly. Putting is, is, is much improved. I was getting those shanky putts that would go in straight right before. Um, but now this is pretty much level. Look at that roll. Beautiful. That one's raced on by that one. But, but now it's level. It's uh, Give you another one of those. Look at that. Oh, just come up short. Yeah, working very, very well. Again, no dot, so this time 50 foot. So, yeah, under hit that, but it did read the putt. No shanky, shanky left ones or right. Better. Much better putt. Come on. Gone off to the left a bit, but, but definitely reading the putts much better. So, like I said, the difference is it's completely level now and I've leveled out the surface. So I think setup is key. Um, I know everyone keeps banging on about it, but even for me, I thought I had a great setup. Look at this ball here now. Smash that through it a bit, but it's dead straight. It's, uh, yeah, it's good. Really good. 
Let me give you a better angle. Your problem now, this is over the... I'll try that there, but it is over the Mevo, so it's probably not going to be happy with that. Yeah, it did read it. So there you go, just a slightly different angle. Right. Um, and I had some bubbles in the in the putting surface and that just causes all, all sorts of trouble. So now I've put that mat down there, it's perfectly level. The putt's coming off really nice. Um, the 50 foot chips are fine, as they were before to be honest. And the tiny little chips, it doesn't sometimes doesn't read them. You get the odd floppy one. Um, but on the whole, it, it works right for me that that'll work um, so yeah it's good um, but yeah it's just a quick video I just wanted to show you the sort of upgrade um, cheapy upgrade to the sim um, I might get some fresh AstroTurf down here rather than these little bits of cut off AstroTurf but um, but yeah it's getting there and it's and it's working well so I'm gonna stick with dot 17 and there's obviously a lot more testing to do some driver testing if I can start hitting some drivers in here and, and spin numbers and stuff like that but for the, the sort of short game it's it's working it's working okay so as always thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video mm -hmm.